Hello, Assalamualaikum. Today we will discuss uh, ETABS. In ETABS, we will discuss the modeling of a simple multi-story building. Uh, in ETABS, first of all, we will discuss the user graphic interface of ETABS. The screenshot to people is the UGI. It's called the UGI. UGI means the user graphic interface. Uh, in UGI, there are different components. First of all, we will start from the uh, top of uh, this line there where ETABS is written. This is called the title bar where the title of the project will be shown over here. And uh, after that, there is a, a menu bar. There are different types of menus that is file menu, edit menu, v menu. This is called the menu bar of ETABS. Uh, below this, there is uh, uh, some uh, sort of toolbars. Uh, this toolbar is called the standard toolbar, and after that, that has a this toolbar has a is called the draw toolbars. <coughs> uh, sorry, design toolbars, and uh, uh, this is also called the horizontal toolbars, and this is called the vertical toolbars, and it is also called the draw toolbars. We can also add the further toolbars uh, by just right clicking over here. Uh, these are all the options that we can get uh, uh, different types of toolbars over here for example if we uh, click on uh, the select button the select toolbar uh, if we will uh, click edit over here the edit toolbar will be shown uh, like this and uh, after that uh, uh, further we will uh, have to check the, uh, uh, the uh, other components of UGI uh, we will discuss it in uh, at later stage uh, when we will show the different uh, other components of the UGA. Let's start uh, before this. Let's start a, a new model. <coughs> uh, we can start a new model uh, by uh, clicking over here uh, by this uh, horizontal toolbar, and we can also start it from the file menu, and we can also start it from over here. Uh, this is called the new model. And um, by clicking over here, we will. Uh, have a new window that is called a model initialization window in model initialization window we have to select a different uh, floors the units uh, uh, let's select the use built-in settings width and here we have to select the units that is I have selected the US customary and for info, to get the information about these units I will go uh, to hold my mouse over uh, but I button over here that will show the you uh, the <coughs> different units in which it has will measure uh, for example the absolute distance will be measured in feet and substance area will be measured in feet scale and so on uh, all the uh, um, uh, quantities will be measured in different type of unit that is shown over here and after that we uh, have to check the steel section database we have to choose the steel section database there are different types of built-in settings built-in uh, core uh, section database is also, also variable uh, we are using uh, American standard that's why I will select the ASC 14 and steel design code uh, will also be selected over here that is ASC 360 and for concrete design code and we will select the AC 31819 uh, by clicking OK, OK over here we will get uh, we will direct to a new window that is called a new model quick templates and uh, in this new model quick templates uh, we have uh, uh, today's special task uh, like uh, uh, we have to draw a simple multi-story building uh, in this tab uh, we have to select a number of stories will be six and the grid dimension along uh, uh, grid lines in the x direction will be six and, and in the y direction it will be four uh, let's start it from over here uh, there are six number of stories and uh, uh, if there are six number of stories we have to add a further one story that is uh, for the uh, base of the building the foundation of the building uh, in it as we have to select a uh, extra one story that will be uh, chosen for uh, design of foundations <coughs> that will be served as a bottom story as well uh, next uh, we have to put the data about the story height uh, in the story height we have a bottom story height of 8 feet and typical story height of 10 feet let's right over here is 10 feet and bottom story height will be 8 feet the bottom story will be for the foundation design uh, number of grid lines along the x direction will be 6 and number of grid lines along the y direction will be 4 and uh, we have a uniform uh, grid system over here let's check it that is uh, in 
x direction there are six number of grids and y direction there are four number of grids and the spacing of the grids that is a uniform grid system that is along the x direction that is 15 feet and along the y direction that is 10 feet let's put it over here along the x direction it is 15 feet and along the y direction it will be 10 feet as per our uh, today's task and we have already already entered the number of stories over here uh, further uh, we will uh, we can check the uh, custom grid spacing as well let's uh, have a look over there and uh, that is because edit grid data in this edit grid data system we have a different type of number two types of uh, rectangle grids the layout of the grid will be shown over here like this that that shown that there are six number of grids along the uh, x direction and four number of grids along the y direction the uh, spacing can be defined as an ordinate as an or if we select this option display grid data as an ordinate the uh, um, reference point will be this one that will be considered as a zero point and from this I ha we have to uh, mm, uh, we have to define our grid system as uh, as per reference from this point for example uh, uh, the B grid will be uh, uh, 15 feet and our grids are uniformly spaced that uh, we have written uh, first we will write the 15 for B grid system uh, B as a, a we will write it 0 and for B we have to write the 15 feet and for C we have the reference point from this and we have to check it as an ordinate that is 30 feet and so on and if we select the display grid data as a spacing in case of this option we will just need to put the spacing of the uh, consecutive grids for example we have to put the spacing between a uh, grid A and B and uh, B and C etc uh, in this way we can add a new grid as well uh, if we want to add a new grid we will uh, go to this button add button and there will be a, a new grid data will be grid will be shown over here for example if it is also 15 feet i will write it as 15 feet over here a new grid system will be shown over here uh, mm. as per our task uh, we have six number of grids so we will read this grid we will highlight this grid and we will press delete over here the g grid will be deleted like this uh, similar concept will be in the case of uh, y grid data system as well Further, this is the uh, visibility of the grid. We can uh, invisible the grid uh, by clicking no over here, and uh, this is the bubble location. This is the bubble that has a, a specific location. In this case, we have it at the end of the uh, our uh, uh, layout. That will be fine for me. Uh, you can select the different location as well. For example, if you select it as a start, the grid will be shown like this. and if we click ok over here the grid will be defined like this and now we can also edit the story data as well go to the custom story data edit story data in this uh, story we have total 7 number of stories and bottom story will be served as a foundation uh, story uh, and uh, further uh, we have a uniform uh, story uh, height that is 10 feet we can also edit it from over here and this is the elevation of the st specific story for example story number 7 is 68 feet from the bottom and we have also defined the master story as well we have defined the story 7 as a master story and we have asked him to similar to the our story will be similar to the story number 7 and if we need to delete a specific type of story, uh, specific story we will click right click over here and we will delete uh, the specific story and uh, we can also add a new story as well by clicking over here click ok uh, in this window we have defined the uh, grid system along the x and y direction as well and the uh, typical story data as well and we will click ok and there will be a three types of window will be open over here this the first one is called the model explorer all the history of your work will be saved in the model explorer and the second window is called the uh, uh, working window that has uh, uh, shown the uh, plan view of uh, your grid system or plan view of your structure and the third one will be a 3d view of the structure
at the bottom left uh, at the bottom right corner of this window uh, unit will be shown uh, i just uh, have hold my, my mouse over here a uh, unit uh, will be shown over here the next will be the uh, type of grid that is a group grid system we can also add the um, uh, different type of grids as well in the same uh, structure and this is called the uh, story data uh, in this data we will select check that how uh, in which story we have to work there are three specific type of uh, uh, working areas first one is the one story all story and similar story as well uh, normally we have to work on the all story as well so i will select it at uh, all story as well uh, after that the, uh, if i, I uh, move the cursor over here the uh, coordinate will be changed in this um, section this is called the uh, this shows the coordinates along x y and z direction as well <coughs> and uh, at the bottom left corner we will check see that uh, here uh, it is shown that in which window you are working or in which story you are working and it shows the plan view this is the plan view window and uh, we are at story number seven and uh, we are at a uh, uh, elevation of 68 feet i if i will check it uh, over here it will show the 3d window this show the uh, uh, window that will uh, that will active during your work area <coughs> uh, next we will move to the next step as well uh, our first step uh, uh, was to define the code second step is to define the uh, grid data and story data and third will be, uh, will be to define the uh, materials we will go to a define menu and we will define the material properties over here uh, as per our task we have two types of concrete that is uh, for beams and column we have 5000 psi concrete and for slabs we have 3000 psi concrete so uh, we have 4000 psi concrete we will uh, we can modify it as well we will modify it and uh, we will write it uh, the name of as a 5000 psi and concrete isotropic material and density will be the same and in this case modify show properties and data you can uh, modify it as 5000 psi uh, click ok over here we have to find the 5000 psi concrete and after that we have to define a new material that has a 3000 psi concrete for this purpose we have to go to the, the region will be selected as united states and type of material will be concrete and standard unit will be us customary and we will select the uh, type of uh, grade here as fc prime as 3000 psi and we will click ok over here and uh, this shows the uh, further preliminary data that it will uh, get it from the ac code ac318 and we don't need to modify it uh, anymore uh, this is already shown the 3000 psi concrete we will click ok over here and in this way we have defined the two types of material that is 3000 psi concrete and 5000 psi concrete now we have to define uh, two types of steel as well we will use a grade 60 steel and uh, grade 40 steel as well uh, grade 60 steel is already here and now we have to just define the grade 40 steel how to define the grade 40 steel we can add a new material we will set the rebar and uh, the code will be ASTM A615 and this is grade 40 steel and we will click ok over here further this is the specified weight density this is the uh, weight per unit volume of a grade 40 steel and this is the modus velocity we can also modify it uh, uh, by our convenience if we are using a different type of material and further we can also modify show property design data as well uh, if we have a different uh, grade material we can modify these um, uh, strengths as well that is fy fu and fye and fue as per our material that we are using uh, at present we are using uh, a 40 gear steel the 40 gear steel has a standard values that it must be have a minimum yield strength of 40,000 psi and minimum precession must be of 60,000 psi and expected yield strength is uh, 44,000 and the expected tensile strength will be a 66,000 psi we just need to click ok over here and we will click ok over here we have defined that four types of materials 5000 psi concrete 3000 psi concrete grade 60 steel and grade 40 steel we will click ok over here 
and uh, now we have to define uh, uh, section properties as well uh, for section properties we have already defined that our size of the column will be 15 cross 15 inches and the size of green will be 15 cross 18 inches so uh, we will again go to the define menu and we will go to the section properties and we will go for frame sections there are different type of sections will be shown over here uh, as per our convenience we can delete these all these sections as well if uh, you are not deleting it uh, that's fine it's okay uh, now we have to uh, add a new material we have to add a concrete rectangular we will add column of 15 cross 15 inches we will name it as 15 cross 15 inches uh, it is as per our convenience we can uh, mean uh, you can also change the uh, name of as per your convenience what is the material that we will use for this uh, type of section that is 5000 piece concrete and concrete rectangular here we have to define the cross section and uh, that is 15 cross 15 inches and we will uh, also uh, go to the, this uh, uh, section that is modify story bars and for this from here we have to select the concrete column and longitudinal reinforcement bars will be grade 60 and confinement bars will be of grade 40 and for rectangular column we will use a tie and if we are using a circular column we have to check we, can, we have two options uh, here that is either that is ties a uh, confinement bars will be ties or spiral as well we are using a rectangular section we, so we will select the rectangular over here uh, we'll check the reinforcement to be designed over here and uh, for this uh, purpose we can also uh, give the expect uh, uh, give the uh, <coughs> the uh, sizes of the bars available and uh, we can uh, select it as longitudinal bar sizes and area that is we are uh, using number four bars as longitudinal bars and corner bars say that is number six that is the maximum bar size that we have to find over here and the component bars must be of number three bars and we will click ok over here and uh, again we will click ok that we have to find the uh, this is called the source section properties these are the section properties for our required section that has a uh, section name of column 15 cross 15 inches this is uh, pre-calculated by the uh, software and we will click ok over here we have to find the column of 15 cross 15 inches for our convenience we can uh, we can delete all these properties over here uh, by clicking delete multiple properties and for this purpose we will select all by clicking shift and arrow key at a time and we will delete frame sections and we will again select the select all sections and we will Unfortunately, we have deleted the uh, already predefined section. Uh, no problem. You can introduce it uh, again. Add new property, concrete rectangular, and uh, here we have to name it as column 15 cross 15 inches. We should delete uh, all the section uh, before defining it. Uh, 15 cross 15 inches and modify 4D bars. Here we have to select the grade 60, grade 40, and uh, the preferred bars will be number 4 and number 6 at the corners and uh, the confinement bars will be number 3 we will click ok over here and the our section will find over here now we have to define a beam section we will go again for add new property and we will select a concrete rectangular our beam size will be uh, as per our task that is beam will be 15 cross 18 inches and here we have to define the depth that is 18 inches and width will be 15 inches and we have to modify 4D bars and for this purpose here we have to select the beam and uh, for this purpose we long term bars will be of grade 60 and confinement bars will be of grade 40 uh, here we can define the uh, cover of the reinforcement we will click ok over here and uh, again we will click we have to find the beam as well uh, there is one more thing that i have forgot to uh, tell you people that uh, we have we can modify it modify show property and here uh, uh, shown the type of number of bars over here that if we go to a modify story bars 
that uh, we have uh, uh, give him a suggested value that it must use uh, uh, three number of parts along the three directional faces. Three directional face is the horizontal face, and two directional face is the this one is the vertical face. That it has a, a five number of parts. Here. We will uh, write it as a three number of parts over here. Click OK. This is the suggested values to the E tabs, and we have defined the two types of section that is beam. 15 cross 18 inches and column 18 uh, 15 cross 15 inches we will click ok over here and uh, now we have to define our uh, next property that is a frame uh, that is a slab so for this we have to define uh, go to the define menu we have to go to the section properties we have to go to the slab sections and here we can modify the previous slab over here now we can add uh, our own uh, slab as well that is modify show property and we will say we have a slab thickness of 18 inches and uh, the material structure will be a 3000 psi for slab and uh, that is the type of will be slab and thickness will be 18 inches click ok over here we have to find the slab and click ok over here we uh, up till now we have defined the all of our sections that is beam column and slabs as well now our next step uh, should be the uh, to draw the objects to uh, draw the objects we will go for the quick draw options and uh, for this uh, before this we have to select the all stories over here and uh, we will go to the draw menu in draw menu we have to go to the draw beam column and objects as well and we will select the quick draw columns we will first draw the column as well uh, this is called the quick draw column options this option can also be uh, can, uh, this option can also be selected from this draw toolbar as well this is the quick draw uh, column toolbar whenever I have selected uh, the options uh, quick draw columns and other window will be shown in the at the bottom of this um, uh, model explorer and so we have to select the uh, type of uh, section that we have to draw we have to draw a column of 15 cross 15 inches that's why I have selected the uh, this sections and there are two types of options I can go one by one uh, on each joint and we'll click ok over here like this and this column will be drawn another option and easiest way convenient way is to uh, make a window uh, like this and uh, at the E joint a column will be automatically uh, drawn in the E tabs so all the column have been drawn like this and uh, as shown in the 3d view uh, before going to the next option we must uh, cancel our uh, uh, um, uh, activated command and to cancel it we will go to the select option or we, will, uh, we can also press the escape button as well now we have to draw beams we will go again go to the draw menu and we will go to the draw beam column objects for this purpose we have to uh, select the quick draw beams and uh, here we have to select the type of section as well that is a beam of 15 cross 18 inches again i can uh, manually draw the each beam by clicking uh, on each uh, grid and uh, it will automatically draw on the uh, beam uh, on that grid uh, the second option is to make a window like this and all beams have been drawn over the uh, in the 3d view as well it can be seen yeah, it can be seen in the 3d view now we have to cancel the pre-activated command and we will press escape button over here the command has been deactivated now we have to draw a, a slab over here so for this purpose we will go to the draw options draw menu and we will uh, go for draw floor wall objects and uh, in this area we can there are different types of options you can explore it by yourself as well uh, I, I will go for the quick draw floor uh, options and uh, i will select the slab over here that i have uh, slab section that i have defined that is a slab 18 inches and uh, i will uh, again uh, i can define it manually by clicking each panel as well and uh, i can also define it uh, before like this the slab has been drawn on each story and before this I have to uh, press the escape button to cancel activated command uh, in the 3d view I can see that the slab are also drawn on the 
base of the building as well we don't need a rc slab at the base of the building so we will go to the base there by uh, these arrows these uh, arrows are the uh, are for moving up or down to shift the st uh, story for example if i am at story 7 i will have to move to the base i will go to this options that is i will came up at the base of the story uh, now we have to delete the uh, slab from the base as well for this purpose uh, if you have a number of slabs uh, that uh, uh, you are unable to select each slab uh, like this the other option will be before uh, selecting the slab we will go uh, for the one story as well and uh, we will select the slab of each floor uh, each panel like this that has shown that the base slab has been selected in the 3d view as well i will click delete button over here the slab is deleted from the base as well and uh, now we have to delete a uh, slab from the finished floor level as well as we have discussed that the bottom story is uh, reserved for our foundation depth and uh, our uh, at the finished floor level we don't need rc slab so we will go to the up button and this is we are now at the story one that z has a 8 feet and uh, this road uh, uh, didn't need any type of rc slab so we need to delete it from over here uh, the second option is uh, to delete the slab we can go to the uh, this display option set display options and we can uh, hide the specific type of members as well for example we can hide the joint objects beams columns and we uh, just need uh, to show the floor as well and we will click ok over apply and we will click ok over here that i have applied that uh, applied that the i will, i don't need uh, uh, to show the columns objects or beams as well so here i have shown the slab i can now i can uh, make a window like this so all the panels have been selected but no beams or column were selected over here because we have uh, hide the beams and column from uh, our uh, set display options so i will delete it over here and uh, now we need to show the beams and columns again and a joint of the set as well so i will check them now and i will apply it again actually there is a problem with the e tabs as well uh, so for this purpose you have to hide this your, this uh, taskbar as well you can auto hide it and then you will show the uh, uh, options in the e tab as well i can uh, view the extruded view as well so for this uh, to check the extruded view i can go to this options in the uh, standard toolbar that is extruded extruded view and this is the extruder view and we can also check the extruder view in the three dimensional uh, window as well and this is the extruder view of our building as well this is all about the modeling of a simple story simple multi-story building in e tabs our next uh, in our next module we will uh, start it uh, from uh, here and uh, that will be about to analyze the uh, simple multi-story building thank you